Hi, everybody. It is April 12th, Tuesday. Um, God, we had a great time in the studio yesterday recording uh, the Brazilian artist Daniel Lima um, over at Sunset Sound. So it was fun to give you all a little tour of Sunset Sound Studios. That's been kind of a home away from home for me for, you know, like 45, 50 years now. Uh, done so many, many albums there. And uh, it's just still, it's great. It's one of the few really intact studios in Los Angeles. So many have uh, either gone or they've been upgraded in such a way where they're almost unrecognizable. But that place just, it's just the same as it's, oh, it's like walking into a time warp when I go in there, but a good time warp because the music is so great. And it was wonderful. Uh, the studio, uh, in Studio 3, there was a project going on, and Andrew Gaucher was playing bass on that, and we got to see each other for a moment out in the uh, courtyard, so it was great to see him. He's such a fabulous bassist. Um, but when I when I walked into Studio 3 to go through there, suddenly Judith Owen's first project that I did with her came running back to me, um, and that was um, her album, Ebb and Flow, and it was it was such a wonderful experience. I mean, it took us only a couple of days to cut the album because we just we just went for it. And uh, it was myself and Wadi Wachtel and Russ Kunkel and Lenny Castro on the uh, the basic tracks. And uh, Judith would go in the piano booth and play us a song, and we would sit and sketch out whatever we needed for ourselves for charts. And we'd go in and pretty much nailed everything in the first or second take. Um, and I just have, every time I'm there, I just have really fond memories of that project. I love working with Judith and we've done so much work, but this, it was a great way to launch things. And I thought just kind of uh, as an, not honoring, but just kind of acknowledging that album project, I wanted to play one of the songs we cut, which is really still one of my favorite songs of Judas to play. And, and she's, you know, she does a lot of covers and, and she's doing kind of her American standards right now. But one of her greatest gifts is her songwriting. And she's just written some unbelievably beautiful songs. And uh, I'm always thrilled when we get to get in the studio or get on the road and work on those. So I'm going to play one of the songs uh, that we did. I've never been to Texas. Um, she tells a great, uh, her stories are great. I mean, she's just a kind of a great... Uh, she's like the, the the whole deal when when we're out there. She's a great storyteller. She's a comedian. Uh, she's an actress. She's a great uh, pianist. Everything. Just amazing. But here's this song. I just, every time I hear this, I just go, God, yeah, that was really great. So here we go. I'm going to play a song and then I'm going to get running. I got lots, long day ahead. So here we go. Can I have some honest affection? Couldn't understand how she could be so strong. But she cried inside with a little introspection. She said, You gotta be the first to know when you are wrong. She met a stranger in strange circumstances. Stances talk for us like they were long lost friends. When he left her, her heart was filled with these dances. And two days before her heart could strike and beat again. And I've never been to Texas, but I hear. I hear the weather's awful hard And if I was a desert I would lie on the desert And send my emotions out of bubble scars Met again one rainy morning Saw his face and my heart fell like a circus child Inside her pride was a life like like a new day dawning. Isn't it strange how much can change in such a little time?
been to Texas, but I hear I hear the weather's awful hard. If I was a lizard, I would lie on the desert and send my emotions on a postcard. That's so it's very it's so Joni esque and, and and Judith just absolutely loves Joni so there's that that influence uh, in the music but uh, man it was such a great project I mean er, er, kind of everything we've done together has really been enjoyable but it was a great way to launch a relationship with this album so um, that's it I got a bunch going on. it's really windy here today it's cooled off which is great, and going from 100 down into like the high 60s. It's uh, beautiful, but boy, it is really like windy out. So I'm, I'm, fingers are crossed that uh, we don't have any fire problems. Uh, it seems uh, they, they come hand in hand. The minute we get those winds pick up, something, something happens. So here's hoping. Um, let's see. What else? I'm on my way over to Blues right now to pick up a print for somebody of the, the jazz musicians that was ordered. A bunch of books and a bunch of t-shirts. All of a sudden there's a bunch of t-shirts have been ordered. So there's going to be a lot of people walking around with beards on their chests. It's, it's all so crazy. For those that haven't seen it here, actually I got one sitting right here from an interview the other day. So. so I'm standing there like this and then I suddenly go like that and there's my beard. Go figure. Um, so I'm going to get running here. Um, again, um, my heart goes out absolutely to the people of uh, Ukraine um, <laughs> because uh, it's going to get really horrible. Now Putin has brought in a new general to run things who is known as the Butcher of Syria who killed everything in sight and destroyed everything he could possibly get his hands on. And this is going to be the new guy running the Russian military. So God knows what horrors are going to be inflicted upon these, these people that just were trying to live their lives. And all of a sudden, uh, they hell surfaced and they're living in it now. And I can't, I can't wish enough. And that's not my nature to wish it, but I can't wish enough that something grotesquely horrible what happened to Putin and he would just be reduced to 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 nothing nothing I did not even a footnote uh, in history this guy is just such a absolute piece of shit monster uh, and so now he's brought in another monster to do his his uh, be his henchman so my heart really goes out to those people and uh, um, numbers are going up again I mean, just, what does it take? We were talking about this at the session yesterday about musicians we know in L.A. who have lost gigs because they just won't get a, a vaccination and they're giving up gigs they've had for years um, and being replaced. You know, the, the artists have, uh, you know, they make the rules and if they say, look, you, you're not coming on the road with us unless you're vaccinated or you're not going to be in the studio with us and uh, they're willing to lose you know, their entire history. <laughs> just, it's unbelievable. But my heart is still, man, thank you so much for all you people that are working in the hospitals and, the, and uh, any kind of services that you come in, in, in contact with the public. Thank you for this. There's cities now are bringing back mask mandates. 
because people have really ignored things. As soon as they get a, you give them an inch and they take a mile kind of situation. So, so that's that. But I'm going to get running here. I got lots to do today, you know, which I look forward to. I like being really busy. So I'm going to take care of things. I wish you all the best day possible too. And anytime I get into a new studio situation, I will do a little tours of them just to give you some of the back scene of what's going on. But, uh, Sunset Sound, one of the treasures of Los Angeles. So I was really glad that uh, that my day started so stupid where I'm sitting at the gate of Capitol Records trying to convince the guy I'm working there because the original call was going to be for Capitol Records, but then it, it got changed, but somehow I didn't change it on my calendar. So I looked at work yesterday and went, oh, Capitol, okay. And then, it stood there. And then finally I opened my phone and looked at an, old, an older email and went, Oh crap, we're at sunset. So, now, thank goodness, uh, they're only like, you know, a little over a mile apart. So it was no big deal to get there. Now, if, now, if I had gone to village recorders or something, it I could have been pretty late for the session. Uh, so that's my problem. So you take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to go over to Steve Postel's house to work on the Immediate Family new album, too. I'm really looking forward to that. I won't do a tour of that studio because it's his home studio. And also a lot of people say, man, can you record some of the stuff during the session so we could hear it? Um, we can't do that. Um, you don't, that's one of the kind of one of the cardinal rules is you don't play stuff for people before it's finished. Um, it's, you know, it's not that you don't put the stuff out. It's not, and you would have to clear it all with the artist absolutely before you do anything. So, that won't that'll that won't happen. There might be a an, an instant of something, but nothing really definitive of the songs we're doing. But we got five great tracks yesterday, so it was a wonderful day. I'm rambling, so I'm out of here. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.